As you can see, I've been rather busy. Well, just last night. I haven't played for a bit, but I decided to start farming. Oh, here we go. This is a real fucking tone setter. Yeah, so I got a second one of these, and I have a bunch of uh, these. Can't use them yet. So yeah, the rain's here, because it's, um, it's April now. The 11th of April. And we're dealing with this shit. So, um, if I manage to cancel it out, which, let's be honest, is fucking unlikely, good on me. Otherwise, yeah, you, you're gonna have to deal with this the whole fucking session. I just really want to get this on with. And the rain ain't gonna stop me. Now, first of all... I was wearing a shirt with that motherfucker on it. The last two days. I was hoping to wear it for when I actually started recording this, but... You know. It's been a pain to even get to this point. Because the rain won't fucking stop. Yeah, so we're in the catacombs of Carthus now. That's pretty cool. I guess. Lots of skeletons. Oh yeah, and while I'm thinking of it. Uh, yeah, I, uh, plus... I will, I upgraded a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of cool toys to play with. You know what, in fact, Lucerne. Why not? Hey there, friend. Now, yeah, using a thrust weapon is kind of dumb against these guys. But the magical thing about halberds and spears is, if you get close enough, they just become strike weapons. I bet you don't. So yeah, we're getting that sweet, sweet strike damage right now. Yeah, that's the thrust damage because we're actually in the sweet spot. Could you stop, please? Oh yeah, and pyro, fl uh, pyro flame pl plus three because, you know, I got there. Uh, don't you fucking start parry, King. Alright, this is terrible. I have timed this poorly. You can parry me. Did not. Perfect. Right. What do we got up here? Why am I bothering to pretend I don't know? Ow. Fuck you. Right. I'm excited because there's a bunch of cool shit in here. And it's actually going to be incredibly easy to farm Titanite now. Yep. So we got the actual fucking sweet spot then. Not what I want. Yeah, thrust damage isn't very good against these guys. Neither slash, though. So, you know. Oh, wonder what this does. Hmm. What kind of chump would get hit by arrows, am I right? This is going to be terrible. Well, let's see how this goes. Some instances, you know, the spear could be... Yeah, pretty good. But... I don't think this is going to be one of the... That's different. Normally you're not that far forward. Don't know what I did to cause that. Let's see how this goes. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool thing is I can also start farming um, sharp gems. That's something different. Oh wow, you, you woke up real fast, man. Gotcha. Now let's swap to the dark sword. The dank sword. Someone's bones just fell. Uh, just as a reminder, Slumbering Dragon Crest. That's why they're not noticing me waltz up behind them. Yeah, so that the uh, crystal, uh, the soapstone goes dark when you when you're in spots that were illusory walls and such. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. All right. So, in between the last session and this, I played a lot of Sekiro again. Turns out, I'm not as bad as I said I was. Because <laughs> I made it to the Fountainhead. Uh, I'm at that magical part of the game, and I won't spoil it because, you know, Sekiro is still fairly new, I guess. Um, where I could go beat the boss of Fountainhead. But I kind of need to beat another guy for the second time. You know, him. So, uh, I haven't played that for a few weeks. I, I, I'll get back to it eventually. Kind of like how I, you know, picked up Breath of the Wild for, for, yeah, for the first time since the Switch came out. <laughs> back in Feb, and I dropped it and never got back to it again. Funny how that keeps happening. Oh, and, uh, you know, I know a lot of people watching this are probably familiar, but... 
Yeah, if her eyes are white, that means they um, pop back up. If they're not, yeah, they're a one and done. This is going swimmingly, actually. And, hey, and the rain eased off. Beautiful. Hey, lizard. Thank you. Yeah, that's totally worth it. You fuck off. Thank you. Yeah, I got a bunch of this as well, just cause. Lots of stuff. So, you know, some Lloyd's Talismans, some fire bombs, etc. Some good stuff. Oh, great. Because of the rain, you know, stopping. Now you can hear the PS4 being a shit. Oh, that's right. You guys wake up. So, we got one of the main reasons I was excited to come here. And, and you know, I didn't even fucking read it. A pyromancy tome from Carthus, containing pyromancy crafted for battle. Give to the old master pyromancer to learn advanced pyromancies of Carthus. Kind of redundant. Oh, Carthus pyromancies, huh? Developed in isolation from other forms, explaining their divergent evolution. They're buffs. And, you know, shooting acid at people. So, you know, that's cool. Wish it was like, you know, acid rounds and resin evil, though. That'd be great. That'd be fucking rad. <laughs> no, it just kind of screws up weapon durability. Kind of. Not really. It's kind of crap, to be honest. Scully 10 knew we were coming. This guy probably does too. Nope. He heard the slam. He didn't expect the jam. Yo, DJ. Turn it up. Thank you. Yeah, so he's uh, he's gonna he's gonna do his own thing, I guess. Yo, dickhead! Wait for it. There we go. Now we can go get that sweet sweet ember. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is this is what it's gonna be. B yeah, bullying skeletons, I guess. Yeah, I've got a bunch of embers too. Oh yeah, and I did a lot of farming as you can see, in terms of the armor sets we have. Don't have the Evangelist hat, and I don't have the Black Knight leggings though. Or, yeah, all the Lothric gauntlets actually. Yeah, fucking Lothric Knights. You stay down, parry champ. You go bully Gundyr on your own time. Okay, it's probably better we took a second to kill him anyway, because now we can do this. Hey, wait your turn, alright? We gotta roll because of that dumb bullshit. Which, hold on, we can use this as an example. If they throw it right, you can see it kind of clip through the, through the wall, but, you yeah, know, that's not going to happen today, of course. Excuse me? Thank you. And of course, these pots. Oh no, the dark energy. And through here, to the one item that's here, the Carthus Milk Ring. The other one? Cool, give me one sec. I did a lot of farming. Alright, and... Bonk. That looks really fucking lame when you're not in there. That looks way more impressive when you, you know, fooling around in there. Not gonna get me this time, fucker. Carver's Milk Ring. Gives you plus three decks and makes you invisible while rolling. Pretty rad. How much is that giving us? Wow, seven, seven, yes, okay, cool, seven. Yeah, this is what I'm rocking for now. I'm happy I can actually fucking play properly though, because now I can actually level strength, get some vitality, get some endurance, all stuff I actually want to fucking level. <laughs> Big boy's gonna be up in a sec. But who cares? Just roll. Yep, knew that it happened. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to heal in a sec. Oh god. That is not what I wanted to do, game. Yep, and they can clip you through walls, of course, because Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Give me a sec. Now, oh, this is the most trouble you guys have given me for a long time. 
eat shit. Calculated. Hey, Carthus Rouge. That's also, you know, a reason I wanted to come here. Ow, fuck you. Got some at the front door, but... Very happy to get some. While I'm thinking of it, what was I gonna look at? It was some item. Ah, oh, well. Whatever. I'm excited to, to try to farm this shit, but... You can make this. It's rough, but you can do it. There's rats down there, too. I've been playing a lot of the, um, not Cinder, surprisingly, The Convergence, which is another awesome Dark Souls 3 mod, but I think is actually better than Cinder's at this point. Cinder's is doing some weird shit I'm not entirely on board with, to be honest, but hey, I'm not the one making the mod. Fair enough. Um, I get what they're going for, but removing reinforcement entirely seems kind of like a, yeah, a bit of a misstep. And the whole companion system, the summon system, was actually really cool. Um, in that you could summon, well, an enemy to fight for you. Uh, they've changed that to be you get a select um, enemy depending on where you are. So not as cool. But whatever, again, I'm not, I'm not fucking making that mod. I don't get to decide. Another reason I'm very excited to be here. The rain less so. Fuck, it trolled me when I was playing Nemesis the first time. Well, Ari, Remake 3. The most disappointing yet my fa <laughs> game of 2020 yet my favorite game. What the fuck? Ah, uh, the duality of man, I guess, or something like that. I'm not sitting down intentionally. I'm just... Wait. Why not? Fuck it. I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back or anything. Also, yeah, we get a bunch of this now. Um, yeah, no, Rain trolled me hard when I was playing Remake 3, not while I was playing Twilight Princess, which was about this time last year, somehow. Yeah, so the ball's gonna ball. If you run to about here, with that timing, it'll squash it. Yep, all three, it'll be a backup rat. You, with enough stamina, and I'm thinking I'm at the threshold, you can totally outrun the ball and run out here, and you'll avoid it, but... I want to keep I want to keep the ball active for a tiny bit anyway. Let's go take out the reddies. All right. Chuckles. Okay. Nope. Nope. Chuckles in the corner is totally cool. Get it. Bone wheels. We'll be back for you in a tiny bit. Yep. Traffic. Right. Uh. Hmm. Rat bodies. Cool. 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 Annoying that the rain doesn't pick up on the mic, but. Yeah, so the point I was going to make was, I've been playing a fuck ton of Sekiro. Um, these guys definitely make me think of certain enemies from Sekiro. <laughs> Particularly the, uh, the Ministry Ninjas. Whatever their proper name is, uh, proper name are. Is? Uh, uh, fuck this, I don't care. Whatever the proper terminology is for that group of enemies. He's just going to click for the wall, so fuck him. See you later, nerd. And we have the coolest OG in the land, just chilling. These guys do remind me of, um, what are they called? The, um, what's their proper name? Uh, yeah, the Shulver Swordsmen, I think they are. The ones from the Dark Souls 1 DLC. Uh, Dark Souls 2 DLC. Man, Shulver and 1 would have been fucking rad, actually. I played the shit out of that. Right, what do we got? Duck Spirit Head. Only an ember required. Now, I was planning on doing doing a bit where I get Tarkus, sorry, Sorig to invade us, run across the bridge and say, hey, look, the intelligence of your typical red. Ha ha ha, but no. We'll actually, you know, we'll actually do this proper. Kinda. So he spawns and tries to trap us. Skeleton ball still going. Alright, let's see if we can get a R1. A backstab. There we go. Perfect. Gotta be careful because he's gonna poise through my ship. Yep. He can throw out two. How many of you got, Tarkus? Sorry, sorry. Alright, come here. Come on, bud. You can totally roll through this thing. It's pretty rad, but just go this way. 
Nice, Zorig. Very well done, mate. I'd, uh, I'd watch out. Yep, he's gonna... I missed, so he's not even gonna have to poise. Zorig is actually the real reason I'm very excited about being here, though. For one specific thing. That he's gonna give us. The ring's cool, but it's not bad. Also, yeah, um... Technically, I'm a pyromancer, too, remember? Whoop! Fire resistance, huh? Muda muda kono dioda. Uri. Oh, someone's farming. There we go. And let's cue that up right here. Put the wave here. Okay, let's do this properly when you can fucking see it. My favorite gesture in the whole game. My thanks. Fuck yeah. My big favorite. Little annoying on the, you know, bit low on the blue juice, but we can't do much. Alright, so there's two ways up, because, you know, this is Demon Ruins. Except Demon Ruins is a reskinned version of this. There's an illusory wall there. There's this here. There's... There's a sniper here. There's a skeleton friend. Now, where's fucking... Where's Edgelord? Why are you walking this way? Why are you talking this way? Huh, how did you know I'm here? Ah, uh, come on. Camera's being a shit, come down. Come on. Really? Right. One thing I was hoping to correct, and I didn't want to bobble with an annotation in any of the previous parts, was, um... To my understanding with how some of the world design was meant to go in the original variation of this game, the original concept, has the ball crashed? Can you stop for one sec? Worth it. Um, the world was meant to be... Um, you started in Undead Settlement, which... Kind of similar to Bloodborne in that respect. Hmm. Where you um, started off in... Um, why am I forgetting? Hemwick. That was the original concept of Bloodborne. You started off in Hemwick. So, kind of some similarities there. Oh yeah, if anything's going to kill me here, it's going to be a fuck. And yeah, those kunais go through wall because... Well, sorry. Walls. Plural. Because reasons. Um, yeah, Undead Settlement, um, the Mailmaker, um, Covenant spot, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Hey, Shodal, and a Sharp Gem, fuck yeah. That's awesome. The, um, the, the Mailmaker Shrine was the entrance to this place, Illusory Wall, um, and then that led to the Profane Capital. Irifil Dungeon was not in between, I fucked up saying that. Which kind of makes me wonder, because I assume... I mean, I assume Smoldering Lake was still attached. But then I can't fathom how you get to Irifil, unless you teleport there from, like, Cathedral. Because the only way to get to Irifil would be to, um... Go through Smoldering Lake and take the shortcut that's not existent anymore. Also, um, we got this. Now, this is... This is, like, 20 minutes. Sick. You this would be short. Alright, Chuckle Fox. Well, one of you might make it. No. Okay. Yeah, rip. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is technically going to be part of Smoldering Lake 2 this episode, but not really. Now, past this, dickhead. Over there is a chest. It ain't a chest. I'm excited for what's in there because it's the one katana no one uses. That is not named the uh, bloodlust. Because no one uses the bloodlust. Which sucks because conceptually it's fucking rad. I like the black blade quite a bit. It's fun. Quite fun. Oh, 
Of course, fucking demon chant. I'm only level 38, I'm not as tough as I think I am. Alright, Mimic Kun, don't fail me now. Get in there. Get in get in there and mix it up. He's dead. No, don't grab him, hit him! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and Mimic's dead. Well, which leaves us with plan B. Grab the sword. Watch out for his shitty hitboxes. And run. Speaking of uh, playing a lot of the mod, I've had a lot of time fighting Vought in several rematches, and boy, he has some fucked hitboxes. Um, that said, I don't understand Mod Maker's obsession with making Vought faster, because it just makes his fucked hitboxes even more pronounced. I mean, I get it, Vought isn't hard, but come on. Doubling Vought's speed does not make him a good fight. It makes it just kind of annoying as fuck. Yeah, um... This, yeah, again, I might be biased, but, um... Doubling Vought's speed, or putting him on 1.5 times speed, and... Yeah, you know, boosting his damage. I don't know about that. Not a fan. Not a fan. But then again, I could be a casual. I don't fucking know. Oh, here comes the boom. I think that could clip. But I don't want to test that theory. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're going to be invaded, but I doubt it. I doubt it down here, at least. Way more likely for to be invaded in the ruins than up here, though. Well, I mean, technically, this is demon ruins, so... Smoldering lake. Oh, okay. Now, we, we the fuck out of here. There is a bonfire right through there, too, anyway, so... Alright, fuck you, buddy. Couple more R1s. Should be three or four. Fuck off! Oh, no! Holy shit! That was bad. Wait, what the hell? Why am I not on my Estus? Must have double tapped it by accident. He's gonna do his dumb flame breath. Okay, yeah. I fucked that fight up by trying to make it dumb. Soul of a Demon. We can get a great axe or then fists. And the fists are pretty cool, but the axe is pretty cool too. Oh. You, you weren't part of the fight, huh? That's alright. We don't judge. So yeah, you'll notice already, we're descending, and technically this is still the catacombs, but architecture's very much the same. Lighting and coloration's a tiny bit different, but, yeah, not really that much of a pronounced difference. Oh, and on PC, uh, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but if you run hard enough, the game crashes about here. It, I guess it's because they're trying to load in all of Smoldering Lake, and it's kind of a clusterfuck as consequence. That sounds about right. Okay. I was wondering what the hell you were wearing, man. Oh yeah, last night, um... Ah, oh, poor soul. Last night, I, uh... I was farming at that bonfire. Haha, <laughs> good one. Um, near the Abyss Watchers. And, uh, I saw a gentleman. Or a lady, perhaps. Or, you know, whatever. We don't judge. Whoever it may be. I saw an individual, is what I should say. Uh, wearing Artorias' set. Um. With a katana. And the, uh, the Millwood shield. The Ethereal Oak. And I felt very proud of that person. And that's what Artor Artorias was, huh? Katana user. Oh yeah, crabs, by the way. Oh, and in reference, uh, and, and just clarify, I'm saying we don't judge about guys playing female characters, males playing female characters. Uh, females playing male characters. Who gives a fuck? I mean, at, fucking at the start of Bloodborne, I said the whole, the Samus concept's rad as hell. Alright, Lizard, who will give us Twinkling, this is a chunk right ahead. We are going to have to come back here eventually, because I haven't done Cathedral yet. Got to the front door, dealt with the welcoming party, oh, yup, you fuck. Come here. That's one thing I don't miss from playing mods. What are you going to say? Could this be a friend? Wait, you know. Well, you know, when Horace is here, technically, he was a friend. Fuck your message. Th these are the real dickheads right here, those guys. That shadow is weird as well. The hell? That's, that's fucking weird. 
Alright, what do we got? Lots of this stuff. There'll be a shrine, later on at least. Not now. So let's see. Nine large shards. One more and we can have this bad boy up to a whopping plus six. And then when I go up to the crow, we can get plus seven because I'll get that extra chunk. Cool. But yeah, this is, uh, this is Smoldering Lake. Conceptually, it's pretty fucking rad. All the arch trees from Dark Souls 1 kind of burning. Kind of burning. Burning quite pronounced. Uh, you know, quite a pronounced burning effect. A burning effect, I believe Terry Bogard would be very apt at, uh... You know, deducing, I suppose. Now we get close to this, so that smashes and leads us into the ruins. Yeah, I don't know what's up with, with the level design of this place. Um, somehow you're meant to natural. I guess that's the intended way. You're meant to naturally find that somehow. I'm gonna get hit. Out. There we go. End up ahead. We have the thing that's meant to force you to run up that way. Trimmers. Fucking Carthus. Sorry, I'll use its um given name. Solaire over here. It's meant to trick you into running that way. And somehow ending up in demon ruins. I don't fucking get it. I honestly don't get what they were thinking. Because the boss is right fucking there. Um, we won't be fighting him today. Oh yeah, I will be getting to the Walnir factory very, very soon. When's he gonna fight Walnir's bracelets? You don't fight Walnir, you fight his fucking bling. Alright, so this is uh, Carthus Sandworm. He's a bit of a dick. No one likes him. We can get about four levels. When we're done with him, it'll be four and a half, maybe. So, this is the spot where you just stand and you place a message. This sound, this is, oh, no. This is something along the lines of this with the curl up gesture. Oh, yep. Post that. And that's kind of what you do. Because um, I ain't fighting him. And when he's on certain angles, you come over here. Not those angles. Ow. That was clever. Demon Ruins is next, by the way. I'm just doing this because I want the shield. And the souls. And the bone shards. So yeah, um, when he's doing... Okay, no, he's not doing it. When he does his... Um, spin around, it's circling around. That's the spot you want to be in. Wait, oh, excuse me. I meant to have this on. Sorry you missed the death animation, but oh well. Now I'm heavy as fuck. That was appropriate. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was me hitting the ground alright. Cool, four levels. And we have two undead bone shards. Fantastic. And because we murked him up in the demon ruin, uh, sorry, up in the catacombs, it's Sorik. Wow, this is, yeah, this is about the speed I figured we'd be going. Alright, demon ruins are going to show up later. Yep, cool. We're going to get some PvP action potentially down here. Wait, what am I saying? I'm a coward. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that at all. Yeah. Demon Ruins are one of my least favorite places to be invaded, but hey, it's, it's a fucking playthrough. Kind of want to be invaded, I guess. Alright, let's see. I want 18, and we'll get do this and this. Looks good to me. Damn, we are just off. Alas. And we do have those ashes to give. Sup. Take this. Yep, yep, same line. Only a unique one for Dream Chasers. Um, now, what does it give again? Kukri's. Oh, what else? Um, Kukri's, I forget. There's no weapons, which kind of sucks. No armor. What oh, fuck does it give? I think it gives, yeah, it gives another batch of embers. And it'll give yellow bug pellets. And, oh, and a rouge, of course. Okay, yeah, that's what it gives. Right, cool. Well... We're going to waltz on over here. 
to our friend, Cornix. Hey, guess what, man? You know how I bought all your stuff? Well, guess what? I got something for you, man. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> so, Acid Search, the one I was talking shit about, because it's not very good. You can use it as a smoke screen. I'll give you that. Um, apparently, yeah, apparently it was actually pretty decent when the game came out. Then they nerfed the fuck out of it, because it was annoying as hell. It's a far cry from the one that was in Demon's Souls. Which, if you're following the canon of this channel, I played. <laughs> uh, Carthus Beacon, pretty cool, for um, daggers and paired weapons. Um, it grants the buff you'd get from killing Vort um, and, getting that, and choosing that ring um, over his hammer. And the reason I invested in Int and Faith. It's pretty rad. Uh, while I'm here also, bought all, all of Orbex and Arena stuff. So, we have all the spells, miracles, and pyromancies we can have, bar those two. And we're not getting getting a divine tome to Lothric Castle, and we're not getting fucking anything for Orbeck till the profane capital. So, you know, that's a while. Alright, so this is a bit annoying. I can't really upgrade my sword. I mean, if only there was some kind of soul item I could use, that'd be, that'd be crazy, huh? That'd be nuts. Alas. Oh yeah, we got this too. Lightning Stake. Uh, a lost dragon slaying miracle. Strikes with a stake of lightning. The tale, this tale describes the lost practice, practices of ancient dragon slayers who found that in order to pierce dragon scale, lightning should not be hurled as a bolt, but rather thrust as a stake directly into the dragon's hide to truly be effective. And you know, Solaire was a dragon slayer. This is well documented in Dark Souls 1. Uh, so that means the worm has to be Soleil, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He uses miracles, so... The <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, I shouldn't even make fun of it. It's so fucking old, but... <laughs> I don't get it. How the fuck do you look at that worm and go, Yeah, Soleil, totally. That's him. That's my man. I, I recognize that helmet anywhere. The worm does have a bunch of corpses in him, so, um... I can't remember where it's described. I think it's... You know what? It's these. Yep. So the Grave Wardens of Carthus, not to be confused with the actual Grave Wardens in Cathedral and Untended Graves, used these to repel a great sandworm. That worm tumbled into the catacombs, euphemisms, and proceeded to dominate its new home in the smoldering lake. I have no idea why home sounded so fucking weird. So yeah, crushed insects for all these. So we've got all of them, hooray! Delicious. Yeah, so naturally, um, Worm uses lightning, so it has to be Solaire, because that's the, uh, that's, that's, that's how that works. Alright. Well. I don't know what you expect, I got a fucking Flamberge, of course I'm using it. For people that don't know, I'm gonna reiterate, I said it in the last, last few parts, but this is literally one of the fucking rarest weapons in the whole game. I'm using it, goddammit. Oh, before we vanish off into the sunset. 314. We two hand, it should be yet 318. Now we gotta chuck this onto here. And let's do it a little bit. Oh, well, that doesn't work. If only you could make your flaming, you know, actual flaming fists that weren't reliant on a demon soul. 406, and that should be 410. 410. Rad. So, technically, it's not really worth the investment to use it. But fuck those people. It's a buff that lasts for 90 seconds, does less damage at base stats than um, the Pine Risen, but you're not paying 500 every time you want to puff, you want to pop it. So every time you want to puff it, yeah. Yeah, cast some drugs, blaze it, huh? Am I right? 420, blaze it. And this is going to be confusing for anyone that doesn't get my very unsubtle sarcasm. I hope people are getting it sarcasm. Alright, uh, I mean, in the meantime, 
Let's show. Yeah, we'll be we'll be fat, won't we? No. Okay, sweet. Northern gloves. Ah, right, come on, you. Thank you. All right, time to run to Lord Walnir, and we do have this ring, so nothing's gonna notice us. Crazy. Right. Let's chuck this on. Probably swap to the gloves to make this easier. So we will get rid of that and we'll chuck on these briefly. Let's just swing, swing, swing. Wow. That's pretty good damage. Oh yeah, so this shield, um, it, it was uh, the shield of a king named Vendrick. He was a bit of a dick. Um, didn't do anything noble. Um, definitely wasn't a particular character in Dark Souls 2 or anything. Of course not. That would be dumb. Why would any character from Dark Souls 2 be involved in this game? You see, that's that sarcasm's layered deeper than you think. Because, yeah, there ain't a lot of DS2 shit in this game. But there's more than enough when you actually think about it. So yeah, Ancient King. Who was cursed by an all-consuming thirst. In the end, he was no king. The residue of the lust still smolders within the shield, and you get bonus souls when enemies die. And it's a weapon skill shield, so that's why it's used by a lot of, well, noobs, I guess is the correct term, but fuck it, it's a good shield, I like it a lot. But yeah, Northern Gloves. Right. And I grabbed it so we could use it for Walnir. Because, yes, I'm going to grab the extra souls because fuck you. Of course I will. Man, if I was a fucking sorcerer, this would be hilarious. So this is dude named Walnir, right? He kind of conquered a bunch of kingdoms. If you want to go for a stretch, maybe he's connected to, D to DS2, but I doubt that. Um, so he kind of turned into a giant skeleton, which to clarify from previous parts, was originally um, Gundir. Yorm was called Gundir. He was the tutorial boss, so you fought Yorm in that arena. I don't know how the fuck that worked, but that would have been the hell of a... That would have been an incredible tutorial boss, huh? Um, then Yorm died. Um, somehow ended up deep within the bottom of the catacombs, which was the profane capital. And you fought him with all his bling down there. If you're a sorcerer, um, you can cast pest a Pestilent Mercury just about here. Without waking him up. And totally kill him this way. It's pretty fucking hilarious. I did it the other month. So this is Walnir. For the people that don't. Again, I don't know why I'm treating this like people who don't know are watching this, but fuck it. On the off chance. We get to be inclusive. So Walnir is a giant fucking skeleton. He's very scared of the dark. That's why he wears his bling. But it's easily broken. And yeah... A chunk of his health came off when I fucking broke his his sick, sick bling. Um, so this is the boss fight. It's not particularly compelling, but at the same time, playing modded versions where he takes a lot more damage, that's kind of not fun either. So he has a bunch of moves you're probably... Actually, you know what, we've got time. Let's see. So he's got his generic slams. He doesn't even see nearly as much in the mods though. He has a bigger moose set. So what he's reaching for will be his holy sword. One of the things we can make from his soul. Uh, he can cast Wrath of the Gods with it. It's pretty fucking rad. Given he's also Chief Necromancer effectively. He can, uh, oh yeah, he's going for it. Let's back up. Physical damage, thankfully. Um, he can summon skeletons, including Bone Wheels and the Swordsman. I think he can summon the fucking ninja dickheads, but I don't remember. He hasn't done that for a long ass time. Ow, fuck you. Yeah, so he loves vaping, of course, because it's a thing. See ya, Bonnie. Forward to be this harder, man. If you're fast enough, and I'm not gonna be, you can to totally make it down the back. Yep, there's the back wall. Yep, totally the abyss. That's where we were. I haven't watched this cutscene in so fucking long. Yeah, so this is a goblet. We're fighting his dark spirit, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna go back, fucking muck the bone wheels in a sec. Get the ring, which is kind of a lame way to end this. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I will warp back. I can warp here. Yeah. Should have taken care of the bone wheels first. I know how we're closing this out though, this part. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to trim this down. This is just going to be a whole part. Come on. Hurry up, Warnia. There we go. Thank you. And we're going to get a fuck ton of souls because... Silver Serpent and... Vendrick Shield. And yeah, we are totally going forward in a sec. Let's just hop back to this. I mean, technically, you could interpret this as me being a coward, because now we can't be invaded. And I guess you wouldn't be wrong. I guess. Look, I'm going to get invaded in either Irafil or Pontiff's back porch, 100%. There is no way I'm not going to get invaded. Alright, just give it a sec. Out. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, be careful. It's right behind me, by the way. Like a, like that Thomas the Tank Engine episode I remember when I was a kid. With the titular villain, Boulder. Truly, the, the true villain of the Thomas the Tank Engine cinematic universe. Kind of some flat looking textures, huh? Hmm. So our skelly tans are up here. And we have the Aldrich Slimes that aren't Aldrich Slimes. Fire hurts big time for them. They don't they don't really like it at all. Um skeletons don't like it either typically. Yes, yeah, so no bleed, thankfully. I can't remember, did they inflict a <sighs> They didn't bleed in Dark Souls 1. What the fuck? Oh shit! I didn't realize you were actually alive. Huh, that was confusing. Um Yeah, in the in Dark Souls 3 mods they seemed Yeah, I don't know why people are enamored with that either, but I guess it makes sense. Yeah, they love using bleed in that. And Dark Souls 2, they only show up for skeleton lords. Do they bleed? I can't remember. Yeah, fucking drop me to get. I can poise through your bullshit anyway. <laughs> oh, good one. I bet I fucking can't. Slimes have an excellent capacity of breaking your poison in these games. And as you can see, 44 souls. Not fucking worth it. What do they give you? Titanite shards. Yeah, no, I'm good. So, yeah. I'm probably going to get hit by a slime hit. Nope. Okay. Sick, 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 sick. So, we can get large shards from the skeletons. From the big boys. I'm just gonna fucking poise through this. Screw this. There we go. Barely hurt. Um, you can get Titanite, large shards, vertebra shackles very, very rarely. And um, the Carthus Curved Sword, Great Sword, and Chodal, which I got a second ago. Alright, well, that's that done. Time to close this out. So, um,. We're coming up to a cool place called Irafil, which I've name dropped several times. I mean, people probably know what the fuck Irafil is and are aware of what we're walking into. Um, but to get through the front door, you kind of need to kill the boss of the cathedral. We haven't done that. Which also means we can't be invaded. Which means we can take out a friend on the bridge with impunity. Because fuck him. You know what? We're not even going to use Flame Mark. I've got a way better idea. It's going to be way funnier, too. So, there's a gentleman on the bridge called the Pontiff Beast, right? It's it's cool. It's kind of like... Kind of like Berserk, I've heard. So, we got Carthus Rouge. So, we're going to casually swap to the Bandit Knife. And we're going to pop on some Rouge in a second. Because the trigger point for him is... Those bricks in the middle right here. That's the threshold. So we're just going to walk forward in here. And we're just going to go nuts. Because this guy bleeds like a motherfucker. I should have swapped to the fucking Vendor shield. In fact, we will in a sec. So he has this. I want to show off some of his attacks while I can. Let's swap. 
That was a slow weapon swap. So we have some slams. Here's that. And a second fault. Oh, no follow up, huh? Come on. Come on. Show off your moves. Show me your moves. As Captain Falcon would say. One. Two. And yeah, he's got this whole Sith mechanic of he steps on you. So you can totally back away and it's pretty fucking great. Oh, he has the charge. Which has the Vort hitbox. Um, if you fucking slam these, these dickheads hard enough, um, they'll go into a praying animation where you can repost them. Well, sorry, they'll fly back um, and then they can be reposted. Then they'll thrash around on their back and you can, well, just watch it sit there and pray. Well, lie there and pray, I guess. Right, so, as I was saying, we can't actually get in. We are not allowed. Kind of sucks. Homeward bones. Those who do not possess... Those who do not hold the doll cannot pass. You know, this is the kind of Dark Souls 1 reference I don't mind. Wait a minute, what the fuck is that? Is that some kind of elevator? Wait a minute, what's that? I recognize that silhouette. Huh, <laughs> sure be weird if Anna Londo was in this game. Anyway. There used to be a bunch of bugs you could use to get past this wall, including the boss in the catacomb- in sorry, demon ruins. But, that ain't happening today. Cause, this is, uh, the Fire Fades edition, and I have no idea how to pull that shit off anyway. But man, it'd be cool getting to Irrefill nice and early. Um, when we have the doll from beating the, the boss of the Cathedral, uh, Grey Rat will want to head out on a little expedition. I'm not gonna want to right now. We do have this, sir. So let's quickly walk over to Cornix. Ah, there. Sup, man? Hey, would you like to take for Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome? I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This Pyromancy Tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp, and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Yeah, so he's like, no, that shit is evil. Yep. Tome of Grave Wardens, Black P Flame Sorceries. Yeah, sorceries, yeah, fire sorcery, the thing that existed before Dark Souls 1. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Walnir succumbed... Yeah, succumbed, that's right, to the abyss. But the Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden and discovered Black Flame. Don't know why I questioned the succumbed. I fucking knew that was grammatically correct. Anyway, enough of that shit. Um, we're done. I'm gonna get some levels. I'm gonna farm. If the weather's good enough, I'm just gonna fucking power through demon ruins, I guess. Alright, let's see. What could I go for? Um, some Vit. I think we could go for that. And some Endurance would be rad. I don't need any more strength. Some attunement would be great down the line. Let's just see. Can we use this? Yes, this will make my life a lot more enjoyable. Right, sick. Um, I'm definitely going to get some more strength later on. Hey, person doing that shit. Before we go, Black Blade. This is the cool part of it. It's got this um, slash. And then a poke. Two-handed moveset's different too. That's standard, but the uh, twos are pretty rad. And of course it has the generic hold. Shortest katana, um, yes, you're definitely the shortest. Uh, Bloodlust, I'm pretty sure, is slightly bigger than it, or if not, of equal size. But still, pretty rad. Um, kind of shit that it requires um, 18 strength and has terrible strength scaling, but alas. Um, yes, this is meant to be the thing from Dark Souls 2. This is the Berserker Blade, um, that the Predator guys use. Um, yeah, so obviously meant to be hearkening back to that shit. Not Alon. Not Alon. For once, it's not about Alon, as cool as he is. Anyway, we're done. I've got a lot of shit to play with. 
I got a lot of stuff I can go farm. Alright, thanks for coming along. Um, level 45. Totally overleveled. That's totally what happened. Anyway. My thanks, or some dumb bullshit. Man, I fucking love that gesture so much. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do some fashion souls in the meantime. Um, now I've got some more weight, I can actually like work out some good ratios and shit. Alright, catch you later for real this time.